These stories are inspired by the actual case files of the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research. Just like I told you. That's Billy's boat, all right. That is a damn shame, ain't it? You're right, George. Billy Hamilton was a nice kid. He's talking about the boat, Sheriff. <laughs> From the Far East to the rainforests of South America, there are alternative organic remedies which in many cases prove to work better than our Western medicine. North America too has its own garden of life-enhancing substances. Could some, if mixed the right way, reanimate a deceased human being? The OSIR was invited to seek an answer. Okay, just up here, can you make a left? Or a right. Are we there yet? Why don't we just stop and ask for directions? If I hear another peep out of any of you, I'm turning this van around and we're going home. You've had a nice day, now don't spoil it. Kids. 
Okay, let's review our case subject. Billy Hamilton, 21 years old, reported missing by his family. Three days later, he was found floating face down in a swamp. The apparent victim of a boating accident. He had witnesses say that Billy walked home that night as if nothing had happened. Maybe nothing did. Are we sure he drowned in the first place? Well, our contact, Dr. Lowry, substantiated the claim of Billy's resurrection. If Billy Hamilton cheated death, I, for one, would like to know how. Uh, before we start talking miracles, let's check it out for ourselves, okay? Jackson and Dr. Lowry, I presume. You, uh, Matt Prager from the OSI? Uh, yeah. We tried to travel light. Nice to meet you. You made it, finally. Uh, Dr. Lowry takes care of folks around these parts. Modern country doctor. Mm-hmm. One who was way behind schedule. You Dr. Hendricks? Good. Follow me. I'll take you up to the Hamilton house. Of course, but... What's with her? Oh, just a little spooked is all. Uh, ever since that business with Billy the other night, uh... People have been hearing odd sounds, seeing strange lights in the sky all around the swamp. Where they found Billy's body? Mm, don't ask me to explain it, but there's something rotten in the air. Well, if you got dead bodies walking around, that'll do it. Uh, calm down, Dr. Lowry, and then go talk to Billy and his family. Gotcha. Sheriff, sure, uh, give us a few minutes. We'll be right with you. Thanks. What do you think, big brother? Don't ask me what I think when I know you don't care. Get back to the farm and tend to your crops. Don't be like that. The right people have been brought in here to deal with this. House. I checked on Billy after the accident. His neurological reflexes were slow, his body temperature was fluctuating, and like I said in my facts, I could have sworn his pupils were fixed and dilated, but he's alive. You're not coming in with us? No, thanks. It's the smell. The smell? Billy has a pulse, and he breathes, and he says, Hi, howdy, how's the weather? But smells of death. After you. Why, thank you, Lindsay. Can I help you? Eliza Hamilton? Call me Lizzie. What's this about? Your son. We'd like to talk to him. Now. I'm sorry. I'm Lindsay Donner, and this is Dr. Hendricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I said you was coming around. Come on in. What's that all about? I'm sorry. I just... What? Nothing. Let's go to work. Way to make this tasty. 
You do what you do. I didn't know you could grow over vein in these parts. Huh. Know your herbs, do you? Swamp serves up more plants than you ever dreamed of. Plants could do wondrous things. You find Billy out back. That's Billy. The Seth, my eldest. Seth ain't with us no more. He died a while back. I'm so sorry. Someone in the car just hit him and ran off. Didn't even stop, see if he was all right. Around here, people say we got what we deserved. I didn't even see you sitting there. That's my Layla. She don't say too much since Seth passed on. Well, she's real happy now Billy's home, aren't you, hon? How is your brother, Layla? Does he seem okay to you? Like I said, she don't say too much. Are you Billy Hamilton? Yes, sir. I'm uh, Dr. Anton Hendricks from the OSIR. I uh, just wanted to ask you a few questions about what happened the other night. The other night? Okay, I guess. Here, you've talked to half the town. Yeah. Good thing everyone was expecting us. You know, we even turned up one case of alien abduction. Looked just like Elvis, right? Well, apparently Mrs. Culver never got over the death of the king. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, look, everyone seems to agree that strange things have been happening ever since you boys found uh, Billy Hamilton. Well, you got people's imaginations going, too. It was night, right? Uh, maybe that wasn't a body in the swamp. I seen my share of floaters in my time, son. I swear, that boy was a goner. Water started bubbling, and then all hail broke loose. Well, did you ever think that maybe the body just floated away or sank back down to the bottom? No, sir. So it, it just got up and strolled away. By the time we got to the Hamilton place, there he was, right as rain. It was the damnedest thing. Them Hamiltons are always up to no good. It's their way. Stay out of this, Lamb. Won't you tell them about old Lizzie's conjuring? I bet you that had something to do with it. Conjuring, as in black magic? <laughs> Don't pay my baby brother no mind. Backwoods folks got their own ways. Home remedies, potions for this and that. Hell, some people even say the swamp water's got magical powers. Really? Well, perhaps you boys know something we don't. Thank you. 
was in my boat, you know, checking my lines, and then all of a sudden everything just goes fuzzy. Did you black out? Um, maybe. Shoot, I don't remember nothing. I remember being on the porch with Mama and Layla, and they were hugging me. Three days later, look at me. Do you remember seeing a bright light or feeling that you were leaving your body? No, no, sir. No, uh, I can't say I did. Oh. Well, you people seem to be fine now. Okay. You please open your shirt. Sir. I have to understand what's happening to you. Yes, sir. Just since the accident, sir. What's wrong with me? I don't know. It might be something bacterial. Bacterial? I don't want to be sick, Doc. I understand, Billy. You make him better, Doc Hendricks. what I miss. Trees. Yeah, it's hard to imagine anyone living in a place like this. So far out of nowhere. <laughs> you did. I managed to escape. Yeah, give me a cell phone, a fax machine, and a cab on every corner. I like locking my doors at night. Could be a moonshiner. Or a hunter. Is it hunting season already? Oh, around here, it's always hunting season. He's been watching us since we drove up. Sheriff thinks Billy hit a stump just under the water. See this hole? Splintering extends outwards. That was no accident. finished eating. <clears throat> I took these today. Oh, man. I don't want what he's got. At first, I thought that Billy was suffering from a unique strain of necrotizing fasciitis, otherwise known as flesh-eating disease. But you're not absolutely sure. I'm not. The tissue damage seems to be spreading at an uncommonly fast rate, a rate that is remarkably similar to another condition. Which is? Claire? Human decomposition after death. After 24 hours, the dead human body begins to soften, smell, accompanied by a greenish-red discoloration to the head and neck. Yum. 
If I didn't know any better, I'd say that his body is decaying right before our eyes. If Billy died and came back to life, what did he see? What's on the other side? No, it has to be flesh-eating disease. Now, uh, I, I mean, I, I know the, the immune system is almost entirely non-existent, and I read about this in, in medical journals, but that would not explain it. Oh, well, 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 slow down, Anton. Um, have you started billing on antibiotic therapy? Of course I have. What do you all think I'm doing here? Wasting space? What was that all about? I don't know. We should probably just give him a couple of minutes to cool off. Didn't hurt none. Word is you're feeling poorly, Billy. Stayed in too long swimming out here. You don't look so good at all. What the hell happened to you, son? I don't know. Don't you remember? Could be you don't. Little too much swamp water on the brain, I guess, huh? <laughs> hey there, Layla. Now, Billy, tell you what happened, huh? You won't keep no secrets from me, would you? Get the hell off our land. And I'm telling you again, you got ten seconds. <laughs> well, you think you can get that high? I might have to skip a few numbers. You can mess with all the spells and charms you like, but you can't bring the dead back to life. It ain't possible. What's he talking about, Mama? Anton, you tweak that sensor over there, just yank it in a little closer to the dock. Can't you move it yourself? Anton, that's a breeding ground for dock spiders. Right, I forgot. Yeah, there we go. Anton, you all right? It's okay, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. Uh, don't mention this to Prager. How oh, come? Well, I don't know. He might overreact. And tell Elsinger? Uh, I doubt it. Besides, if it's just a little bug you got, that's all it is, right? Just a little bug? Come here, I'll show you.
Methane. Of course. Marsh gas. Yeah, there's probably pockets of natural methane trapped underneath the swamp. What's releasing the gas? Oh, it could be spring runoff. Could be... Could be anything, really. I'll tell you one thing it's not, though. Black magic. There it is again. It's over that way, about 500 meters. Can you identify it? Well, it appears to be human, but from the depth and tone of the blues, it can't have a body temperature more than 20 degrees centigrade. Listen. That sounds like a bear. But it's cold-blooded. It's gotta be... Well, maybe it's a reptile. That size? And standing upright? Well... Let's go find it. There's nothing out here. I picked it up on thermography and motion sensors. Where the hell is it? Well, I guess we lost it. All right. Okay, I was sure. Come on, this way. Hold your ground, boy! Lem, what the hell is this? Don't move. Neither one of you. Now tell me what the hell you're up to or I'll take you down too, I swear. Get that gun out of my face! Anton. Let's just chill a minute, all right? Lem, nobody's gonna get hurt here. Somebody already has. One of your people, I reckon. What? Man's got a right to protect his property. Where? Up yonder, along my fence. You can't just shoot a man like that. That's Seth Hamilton. But it can't be, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, we can see that. No, but he's been dead for months. Some wacko must have dug him up and stuck him on my fence. Lem, this is some kind of a sick joke. You do something like this. The Hamiltons. Who the hell else? Drink it all, son. You want to get better. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Oh, shoot, Mama. It's too salty. you got to hold yourself together now. You drink! Mama! Nothing's going to help me now, Mama! <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Mama. I'm sorry, Mama. What's happening to me? Not by me again. Lizzie Hamilton keeps a lot of salt in the house. Really? I analyzed the black residue that was on Billy's photograph, and I checked into all the plants and artifacts that Lizzie has in her kitchen. I think she's practicing Wicca. She makes baskets? Okay, she's a witch. Where's the salt figuring? 
Well, in some cultures, people believe that salt helps the dead regain their senses. Got to be murder on their blood pressure. But in an attempt to return to the grave, the undead may become violent. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in order to return to the grave, you have to be there in the first place. Billy Hamilton wasn't ever buried. We're not even sure he was ever dead. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder what it is we're supposed to be looking for in this case. You know that, uh, that roadhouse we passed on the way in? Yeah. You think there's a connection? Sure hope not. I was just hoping we could go there later and do a little dancing. Hey, hey, this isn't the way we usually do things. Good. <laughs> wow. Hey. They found another body. Oh, jeez. Oh, my lord. Seth, he's supposed to be six feet under. Not anymore. Where was he buried? I'm not sure. When he got himself killed, Lizzie, uh, she took the body back to the house, said she'd take care of her own. But he was dead. I filed the accident report. Well, of course he's dead. Look at the man. He was moldering in his grave long before your troglodyte brother shot him. Just the same, we would still like to have a look at that accident report and death certificate. Fine. I'll go dig them up. I'll, uh, do a preliminary exam of the body. Are you sure? Yeah. You seem kind of wasted. The only thing wasted is my time discussing this. If I can't do my job, you'll be the first to know. identified as Seth Hamilton. What the hell happened to this man? Although obviously deceased, he apparently received a recent gunshot wound to the chest. This doesn't make sense. Seen Hendrix like this before? I don't know what to say. He hasn't been himself since we got here. I need my team operating at 100%. If Hendrix is losing it, we've got to pick up the slack. End of discussion. Uh, found this in the backwoods. Cannabis. Don't ask. Where was it? It was uh, right where we found Seth. It was growing through the fence between Lem's property and, uh, and the Hamiltons. Well, that's it. That's why Lem's been so spooked lately. Hey. I got here as soon as I could. Where's the body? I 
wish they'd just leave us alone. Who is it? Too far. This has got to stop. Now. Fulciparum malaria is recurring, isn't it? Did you know about this? Anton and I had an understanding. Excuse me. I need to order medication for my patient. What about you two? Look, I know a field officer has to be in peak condition, but this... Did you know about his illness? Peter. No. But you had your suspicions. Hey, it's Anton. Anton's the best in any condition. And I can't risk the integrity of an investigation. My corpses are going missing. I need you two to go up and check out where Seth Hamilton was supposed to be buried. I'll keep an eye on Hendrix. You gonna suspend him? Someone was very anxious to get into this grave. Or to get out. How did you pass some medicals? No one watches the watchers. Why didn't you tell me? It didn't interfere with my work. I managed to keep it at bay. Malaria isn't something that goes away, whether you like it or not. You'll have my resignation in the morning. Oh, Anton. Everyone, myself included, has their weaknesses. And some people aren't worth the effort it takes to accommodate their <laughs> situation. You're worth the effort. Oh, we have to be honest with each other. Otherwise, what's the point? Thanks, ma'am. Get some rest. I want to see a toe tag hanging off this. <laughs> you knew about your brother's little cash crop, didn't you, Sheriff? I applied the last crop under myself. Figured that's going to be an end to it. This why Lynn tried to kill Billy and Seth Hamilton? He caught him raiding the Garden of Eden here? You better have evidence to back that up. Oh, come on. Those reports you filed read like Pulp Fiction. Them boys were in accidents, and I got no proof says they weren't. A hit and run raises a lot of questions, Sheriff. And unless people in these parts like to whittle holes in their boats to pass the time... Lamb couldn't have been... What if he did? What the hell you expect me to do about it? He's my family. He's all I got. Oh, I get it now. If you're the Sheriff's brother, you can get away with murder. You can still do the right thing here, Sheriff. And if you don't, I'm gonna do it for you. Please, Mrs. Hamilton, will you come in? Billy's not here. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hamilton, but we have to talk about Seth. Seth? So, yeah. Seth's been dead and gone for months now.
You go on, tell him, Mom. You go on, tell him the truth. We're not going to pretend that we understand what's going on here. <laughs> but we do want to help you. You can't help me. You folks come here uninvited. This is family business. Now you just clear out of here. No one's going anywhere. Mama. We're going to have us a Hamilton family barbecue. Peter. You're dead meat. All of you. And this time, you're gonna stay dead. You live in your brother Seth, don't you, Liz? No, no! Shoot him off me! We should have done this a long time ago. Billy, Seth, don't go. You gotta send him back, baby. You gotta send him back. Peter. Final case log. Sheriff Jackson is presently under investigation for his role in covering up his brother's crimes. The bodies of Billy and Seth Hamilton and Lem Jackson were never recovered from the swamp. Official cause and time of death for these three men remains undetermined. Prager out. Now even the most extensive review of herbal medicine and its link to white magic cannot offer a conventional analysis of these events. Was this apparent resurrection the result of some strange geophysical reaction in the swamp? Or did Layla Hamilton focus psychokinetic abilities to bring her beloved brothers back to life? Whatever the answer, this one family's wishes were granted, but with horrific results. For Sci Factor, I'm Dan Aykroyd.